Activision presents a smashing blast from the past. You're going to have one of two reactions when you hear this theme music. You either feel nostalgic or nothing at all, except maybe a brand new excitement for this video game, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Though it's only two years old, it's actually a remaster of the first three Crash Bandicoot games that were released on PlayStation by the company Naughty Dog between 1996 and 1998. Crash, the main character, is probably one of the world's most famous marsupials, and if you haven't heard of him, don't worry, it doesn't mean you won't enjoy Insane Trilogy. Though the game actually has three separate storylines within it, the premise is basically this. The evil scientist Dr. Neo Cortex captured Crash Bandicoot ages ago and attempted to zap him with this evil ray he invented. It backfired and he ended up creating one of the most household names in video games for the last 20 years, and Dr. Cortex became his nemesis. In June 2016, the team of Vicarious Visions announced they were bringing Crash back to the main stage, but the game developers are insistent that Insane Trilogy is not a complete remake or a remaster. Instead, it's a bit of both, and it's why the game has so many fans. Vicarious Visions say they put a lot of time and energy into researching the original game to create something old fans would love and new fans could enjoy. Insane Trilogy is praised by older fans for its ability to keep designs so similar to its 20-year-old original PlayStation 1 version, but hard drives were lost and codes didn't transfer from the original game, so most of the content had to be rebuilt and re-rendered from scratch. The team says staff made their way through forums and fan sites to double-check specific gameplay details. And they relied on a group of hardcore fans who offered notes and complaints after testing each new part of the game. Insane Trilogy was originally released in the UK in June 2017, before being released worldwide a week later and in Japan on August 3rd. Like the original Crash games, it was initially exclusive for PlayStation, but then an Xbox One, Nintendo Switch and Steam version was released in June 2018. The Crash Bandicoot series has sold over 40 million copies since it debuted over 20 years ago. Despite its older target audience and PG rating, fans have seemed to love Insane Trilogy's commitment to the original themes and game design. The three storylines were kept the same as the original games, as well as the famous soundtrack. Though level designs, characters and cinematics were all rebuilt, they were all meticulously based off original designs. Developers did add new features into the game, including manual save points, time trials, and for the first time, users can play as Crash's little sister, Coco. Whether it was those longtime fans or the, a new discovery of the game, in Feb this year, Activision announced it had sold over 10 million units, and its versatility on devices only made it more popular, as the game spent eight weeks at the top of the charts for Nintendo Switch, among other awards. All of the influence on the original games aside, if you've never played or even heard of Crash Bandicoot before, don't be scared that Insane Trilogy is a remaster. There's over 100 levels for you to test your skills on that are guaranteed to challenge you. Insane Trilogy is one of the few games that has been remastered with such potential. Whether you're a first time player or an old friend of Crash's, the difficult but rewarding levels will not disappoint you in this 3 series package.